right, welcome back to Old Rivers Farm. I'm out here today in the larger of my hay fields, spraying. Uh, put some 2,4-D out here. Uh, there's some wild onion, some a couple thistles here and there, and uh, some. Uh, I can't remember what that weed is, but there's some very small broadleaf weeds that are coming up. They're kind of woody. Um, got some dog fiddle out here too, so a little bit of everything. So this is just kind of, I knew I was going to have to do this with it being, you know, a field that hasn't been tended to. Um, I thought about using Roundup to kill these little splotches of ryegrass, but uh, Price and Roundup, and with the you know, obviously this is probably the first cut I'll be using it, sell it as as cow hay, and uh, I'll feed a good bit of it to my cows, anyways. Yeah, I really just don't mind the ryegrass being in there. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me, but uh, I think I'll be okay on that. A beautiful day today. I've had the product here for a little while but just been waiting for a good day to get out here and put it on because uh, I like to spray 2,4-D when it's a little bit warmer. You can see right here it's got just a couple of thistles. Uh, this field needs a lot of work. Um, lime is top of the list right now for this field after I get this put out. But uh, I'm gonna spray the rest of the fields too. Uh, 30 acres of spraying over here to do. And then I got to go spray the rye. Uh, I got 40 acres of rye to spray. Um, then I've got, uh, I got to spray the grazing at the house and spray my oats and then I'll be ready to start putting my nitrogen. Some people around here put them on at the same time, but I don't. I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't have any experience doing that. And I, I can't really afford to make a mistake right now, but I know a lot of people that do that. I don't know what, honestly, I don't even know what type of tips you gotta have and how it works, but uh, as quick as it is for me to spray a field, it's, it's really not all that bad for me to do it, so. Uh, expense wise to make two trips instead of one especially with the amount of acres I'm dealing with you know, if I was farming more you know yeah it might be a little easier to uh, to make it all in one trip but anyways that's uh, what I'm doing today I got like over a hundred acres of spray basically well right at it right at a hundred acres of spray and we'll try to get it done while it's kind of warm. I think they're calling for 70 tomorrow. Sorry about the bounce. This field's pretty rough. They ran cattle on this field uh, 15, 20 years ago, and it's rough. Probably should have been smoothed out before. Well, honestly, it is. It's just a pasture. It's an old pasture. But luckily, it has some pretty good Bermuda out here. Um, but honestly, to cut hay off of it, it really needs a, a smooth out. But might do that one day. Uh, but right now, that's just not definitely not in the cards. So this is what we're gonna do. So, I'll try to do a video, maybe of some of the weeds that I'm spraying here, and maybe see what kind of kill we get. I'm spraying at a pint and a half, which I think. Uh, I don't know. I'm a little worried about it. Last year, I sprayed a lot of crops, winter crops. Well, winter weeds. I sprayed at a pint to the acre. It th did pretty good off that. So this year, I thought, just to avoid any problems with it potentially not working. And since there's some thistles out here and some, some kind of woodier stuff, I decided to go with... Uh, it's so hard to film in this field. It's so bumpy. Uh, I just, just figured I was just going to go with uh, with a pint and a half. Um, honestly, 
I was really thinking about just doing a full blown court, but I don't know. I don't want to waste money, you know, if it's not warranted. So I'll let you know how it does. Okay. Here we are, uh, mid January, starting to spray herbicide on the small grains. <clears throat> I've got the uh, Kubota M6800 with the uh, Femco 200 gallon sprayer hooked up, ready to go. Just filling up at this guy's uh, um, this guy's water hose here, and we're about to spray some 240 amine uh, on top of the rye. It looks really good. Uh, no fertilizer except for that uh, sludge they put out there. And I can tell you, we were skeptical of the sludge, but we are no longer because it looks fantastic. And there's some spots where they maybe over applied it where it burned it a little bit. But I'm excited to see what this does. We're probably going to put a little supplemental nitrogen to it, but just to kind of even it out because it is a little variable. I kind of mentioned that in a previous video that it was just different loads, but I'll try to get some videos spraying it. You'll see what I'm talking about, but uh, what we're going after today mainly is wild onion. So that is the main weed. Then there's some little you know, tiny, tiny little uh, annual broadleaf weeds that we're going to, we're going to knock out uh, with, with, uh, with this 240 amine. I don't really like spraying it. Um, they say, you know, there's a small yield loss. Um, if you do it at the, wrong, at the wrong time, you can lose 20, 20 to 30% of your yield. But I think at the stage it is now, it's less than 10, 10, five to 10%, uh, depending on the size. So I think we'll be fine. I've done it. Hey, hell, everybody's done it before. So, <laughs> um, should be okay. And uh, going to run with a a quart to the acre, which is a you know pretty pretty good rate. I think it's I think it's actually the max rate you can spray on rye. If I'm not mistaken. Um, last year sprayed some rye with a pint. And I was really disappointed with that, but we got I got the co-op to spray that, and they used that liquid nitrogen as a carrier. So I'm kind of wondering if if there was a mistake on their end because these the size that the weeds were that we were spraying last year were so tiny that a pint of 24d should have done it and it didn't so kind of think that kind of goes back to the the co-op but anyways uh we're, we're gonna roll with the court uh this stuff was not as high as I thought it was going to be with the price of chemicals and all that. I figured this would be, you know, super high. But actually, I basically paid the same thing for this that I paid last year. Um, what was it? Like, basically, uh, $22 a gallon. So, last year I was paying... 18 or so so it really hasn't gone up much you know 10 10 or so bucks um, so yeah about to load the tank and we'll uh get out here and get this spray and i got 40 acres of spray today and we'll see how it does all right here it is doing some spraying uh this is zero fertilizer except for sludge and I can tell you that stuff did a really good job. Uh, now we're gonna probably put some more nitrogen on this. Here's what we're going after right here, these wild onions. But there's not that many, but there's like some some uh, winter annual weeds in here that, uh, that are getting going. And, uh, take those out easy but some of this I seen some there in the bottom it was six seven inches tall I mean look at this really nice I'm 
really pleased with this. So, should be a lot of straw out here. I mean, check this out. That's just, it's pretty good for considering this is planted late. This is miles ahead of last year's rye. There's some of those old onions. There's a big one there. Yeah, this this stuff is, is miles ahead of last year's fry. Um, we were just now putting fertilizer, me and the guy that did the field in halves. We were just now putting fertilizer on it. So it's, Ours was not even this nowhere near this green this time of year and nowhere near this hike. So really optimistic about this. Uh, last year we put 60, 55 or 60 pounds, well, our actual units of nitrogen out. And we're going to uh, be the guy that's farm in this field would have going to make a decision but I don't think we go more than 30 or 40 out here because I I can guarantee you that what you're seeing here is more than it, it's probably if I had to guess you just don't see grains like this in this area with this type of dark green color unless it's had some nitrogen on it um, I wish we could have got a sample of the actual material. Uh, I'm going to say, more than likely, just a just a guess that we're looking at 20 to 30 pounds of nitrogen to the acre. So we're probably going to have to put out another 30 to 35 pounds, 40 maybe. But with the price of nitrogen right now, I think we could be just fine with 30 units, 30 or 35 units of nitrogen. This 240 does its job, and we'll get back on it.